Well, I found a solution. It's not the best, but it's almost good. So I decided to build this kind of horizontal section with a testimonial carousel. Yes, you heard it right. And it came out fantastic. So this is what we are building. This is the section. Look how smooth this is. So you can scroll through sections simply dragging the page or using the navigation dots. They look like buttons, but they're not buttons. They're simply icons that move left and right to let you know that actually the page is scrollable. There is a little bit of CSS code involved in styling the, the dots as well as the animation for the buttons. You often need Elementor Pro. All right, let's go and build it. Okay, what we want to do now is basically replicate what you've seen previously on this new demo website. So we are going to start with adding a new section and we are going to give this section a minimum height of 70 VH and we are going to also add an image. Go to the style section, go to background and add an image. I'll add this image. It doesn't matter what image, any image you want. And now let's set the position to center, attachment to fixed. So we have this scroll effect and no repeat as well as a size cover. All right, now that that is set. Oh, why is the opacity? All right, that was very strange. Okay. I had to turn off the opacity for some reason that was on anyway okay let's add another section this time this section will have um, a minimum height of VH30 and a background color of black simple as that and we are going to be adding a heading and let's name this oh case studies all right let's change the style because this is really ugly and typography I will set it to Avril fat face love this font and bring it up to 50 very nice very very nice and I want to add also a divider right underneath and let's style it change the color to white and I am also going to animate this so go to advanced and motion effects and under entrance animation I will change the, this to slide in left and animation duration to slow update and let's have a look so far we are on the right track the next step is actually adding the testimonial carousel section so let's add a section this time this section will be full width a minimum height of 100 vh and let's style it and give it a color a background color black as well all right now we can see everything that is going to happen in this section let's change the sections column position to top because we want the carousel to start at the top of this section and go all the way down because otherwise you will have that space on the top of the section and there's no way you can uh, get rid of it let now add the testimonial carousel there you go drag and drop it in there as you can see it is plain carousel and a very ugly one <laughs> What we are going to do now is update the page and start deleting basically everything that is in this slide. Update. All right, let's go to additional options and we don't want the arrows to show so hide the arrows we do want the dots we want the transition to be at 500 that we can play around with but it is up to you again autoplay off infinite loop off and lazy load yes we want a lazy load we always want a lazy load on wordpress and now update and let's move on to the next step where we are going to actually create the slides individually and this will happen in the templates section of Elementor all right so let's go to back to our dashboard and to templates go to save templates and add a new template and we are going to create a new template which we are going to set it as section because it's going to be part of a section name it whatever you want i'm going to name it template one and let's create it we are going to skip this we don't have a template of our own but we are going to create one so we are going to be adding a new section this section will be full width and a minimum height of 100 vh i think you're by now sick of this or basically you're getting used to it <laughs> and 
and okay let's call it section for the sake of it because we can right and column gap don't forget no gaps i will also style it and i'm going to the style section of the section and give it a black background and now we are going to be adding an inner section drag and drop an inner section here we have to style this inner section as well as basically we are going to set it in the same way as we did with the main section so this will be content width full width mean height actually mean height surprisingly is not going to be 100 vh it's going to be 55 vh and everything else stays the same and let's add an image it can be any image you want it is all up to you i'm going to be adding this image you can set it as you want it is all up to you at this point i also added a custom url on the previous on the version that you have seen so basically if this is you show showcasing website or your work you can add a link to the work that you did which will open in a separate page but for now we will leave it as none because this is all up to you all right we can add a heading now and let's add a text editor why are you doing this elementor all right and we can also add a button and let's add another text editor right here underneath all right and i will change the style to white color to white topography i will switch it to the m sans and i will add size of 35 and the leave it as it is and also the text white white as well i mean you don't have to do what i'm doing but it is up to you but i just want to show what you can do what you can achieve and let's add some more space top let's say 50 let's add another inner section basically we can duplicate this section add another column here and we are going to keep this column empty because we want this space empty here we are going to copy and paste this column copy and paste to get this column so basically now we have two columns let's just delete the buttons and okay let's style the column a little bit because i don't like how it looks let's give it a 50 percent margin all around and the second one 50 percent margin as well and it's looking a bit better and let's add um on the margin as well 50 percent top and bottom have some space between sections and have more room to breathe let's also let's give this inner section some space top and bottom might be a little bit too much but let's see actually it's not we want more space on top so unlink the margin and give it a bit more space to breathe on top yes just keep in mind there will be some space from the previous section if you can imagine that so you will have the other section that we designed on the testimony carousel page the one that said case studies so there is a spot bottom space so keep that in mind all right and let's add another inner section let's duplicate this again and let's delete one column and only have two columns in this case i will also delete all the text in the second column because we don't need it we want to have some images here so i'm going to be adding an image let's see let's add the same image in the end it's just a demonstration okay right let's change the settings here we don't want any space this is starting to look great i love it also remove the gaps on this section no gap that can have gaps that's fine all right let's add another image right here again it's gonna be the same image i know it's looking weird let's add another image here okay let's switch it up let's find another image let's upload a new one add this one keep in mind that when you're adding images you should convert them to webp because that's the best way to optimize your images for web nowadays okay and i'm going to leave it at this stage let me just give this image some space on top march of 70 pixels margin top and let's hit publish if you have the possibility to clone this slide please do so because that's what i'm going to be doing so i'm going to exit this and i'm going to create a clone because the settings will remain the same 
unless you want a different kind of layout in the end so i will be hitting happy clone this is an option if you have happy add-ons installed so i have happy add-ons installed here for this purpose and let's edit the name we want to change the name of this slide and just delete that part publish and we wanted to add it with elementor the only thing we're gonna do is just change the pictures because we want to see the difference between the two slides so i will just add another image All right, let's hit update and our templates should be ready. So what we are going to do now is going back to our saved templates and grabbing the short code. Go to template one or slide one, grab the code, copy and bring it, it back to our testimony carousel. And we will insert it in the content section. And there you go. You will not see, that's the, the problem with this, is that you will not see your slide here. So if you want, anyway, if you want to edit this slide, you have to go back to your saved templates. Always, whatever you want to add to this template, you have to go and do it in the saved templates, if it makes sense. Okay, let's grab the second short code and add it in our content in the item number two and update. All right let's view the page and there you go this is it and you can slide it and it's working the problem is that we cannot see the dots i only presume i don't remember if the dots are black but i think they are so what we are going to do is add a little bit of code css code we are going to add a css code in the template carousel custom css section all right there you go okay so we also want because you can see which page is active or not when you're navigating with the help of the dots we are going to go to the navigation section of the testimonial carousel and change the color of the active button let's turn it on to it's working let's also see our page scrolling 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 and here we are and you can simply switch between pages i think it's very smooth and it's very nice okay for the navigation buttons or the so-called navigation buttons that show you the direction that you should scroll what you can do is simply add a section and style this section background black so it blends in and what i did i simply have given it overflow hidden okay so what i will do is simply style this i will only design one i will style only one button button and then i will duplicate it so let's add an, an icon let's go to the library and look for a chevron this would do and now change the view of the icon to framed and then circle is fine let's change the colors white and black for some reason it changed the icon and i think it might be an update that i did not do but you get it okay let's change the size to 30 and padding 19 and that's about it also the border width to one we are going to set this as inline auto width and position fixed yes it jumped right there but we are going to bring it down to about let's set it to 350 this to 95 you can always change it we have to see how it looks on the page and then we will decide and i also added a motion effect because i didn't want this to be like just sitting there doing nothing so what i did was i added a motion effect based on scrolling of the page so motion scrolling effect and i gave it a transparency first of all when you're scrolling the page it's not going to be on the page at all times and also mouse tracking i set it to on and mouse tracking to direct one so it has like a little bit of a dynamic feel to it i don't like necessarily how it's moving i wish it was a little bit closer to the mouse at all times but i think it's working so what we are going to do is basically duplicate this 
but we have to edit the second button. So I'm going to change the icon, okay. And what we are going to do is move it to the right a little bit. Let's update. These beautiful buttons have a Z index of five. So they are always on top of everything that you have on the page. So imagine the page as having layers. You have the background, you have the image. On top of the image, you might have text. So you have already three layers so the button will be the fourth layer all right let's update and let's see how it's looking it should be fine now let's give it a refresh and as you can see the buttons are on top and they do have that wonderful feel all right let's add that animation so each button has its own css because obviously they are moving at different uh, directions, sort of. I will add the code to the first button. As you can see, it's already moving and the code in the next button. Paste it here and there you go. Let's update and let's see how it looks. Okay, I don't know why the arrows are not taking. It must be an update that I did not make. There you go. And if you want to see what else you can build with carousels, then watch this video here where I'm building a smooth infinite loop carousel. I know, pretty cool. I'll see you next time.